Hi, in this segment, I'm going to give my solution to this problem number eight. Um, the problem is that we need to uh, prove or disprove whether the given encryption scheme satisfies the definition of perfect secrecy, okay? We talked about perfect secrecy in other video segments, so I encourage you to watch that first. Uh, I will summarize it very briefly. So, um, if, a, if a scheme satisfies this condition that, um, Suppose M is your message, right? Um, M is a random variable uh, denoting the message space. And C is the ciphertext denoting the cipher space. If this probability is equal to probability of uh, M, what it means is that um, after seeing the ciphertext, you don't gain any new knowledge about the plain text. That's basically the meaning of this conditional probability statement. If this is true for all M and C, then we say the encryption scheme satisfies perfect secrecy definition. If there exists at least one message uh, for which this is not equal, then we know it is not perfect secret. Okay, well, that's basically definition of perfect secrecy. All right, um, we want to prove or disprove in this case. So let's walk through this table. Uh, here is our message space, right? Message space is made of two characters, A and B, um, meaning a message is just only one character. And we have the key space made of three keys, key K1, K2, K3. If I encrypt message A using key K1, the ciphertext will be one. Um, if I encrypt a message A using key K2, the ciphertext is two. That's how you interp interpret this table. Okay, so here, here is the example, right? From a decryption perspective, suppose you have a key K2 and you get a message ciphertext three, you, you can get the message back, which is B. If I start this table for some time, I can see there are a couple of problems. One problem is that if the ciphertext is one, what can I say? I can immediately tell that uh, my plain text must be A because that's the only case scenario where I get a ciphertext to be one. So our intuition is telling that this cannot be a perfect secret, right? Similarly, if the ciphertext is four, we can immediately tell the plain text is B. Right, that's the only possibility. So now we can do a mathematical definition and and and, and prove uh, uh, and prove that it is not a perfect secret. Okay. So let's consider this uh, ciphertext to be one scenario. So I'm going to uh, analyze the probability that message is uh, a. Right, given that. Um, so I'm going to analyze this probability that the message is A, given that ciphertext I'm seeing is one. How do I do that? I will use the Bayes theorem, which we talked about earlier, is probability of C being one, given that message being A times probability of message being A, divided by probability of C being one. So what are the things we know? So far, we know this, right? Probability of message being A is given to us is three fourth. We need to find the probability of uh, C equal to one, and then probability of C equal to one given M equal to A. How do we do that? We can easily find the probability that C is equal to one first. Probability C is equal to one means th there exists actually only one entry here, right? So when will this happen? It will happen only if, uh, let me explain the probability C equal to one here. Probability of C being one is nothing but probability of uh, K is K1, the key K has to be K1, and the message has to be A, right? And means uh, multiplication, and these two are independent events, so I can multiply. E and plain text are independent events, okay? What is the probability that K is K1? We know that. We know that K is K1 is half, and the M is equal to A is uh, 3 fourth. So if you multiply, we get 3 8, okay? So we found the denominator of this equation. We know how to find this. 3, 8. Okay, here it is, right? So we are left with only one more. We need to find the probability of C equal to 1, M equal to A, given that M equal to A. So given that M equal to A means we are, we are just going to focus on the first column, right? Because the message is A. What is the probability that the ciphertext is 1? That there's only one key that can do that, okay? That means the key has to be K1 which is nothing but half. The probability of K1 is half. So this component is half. All right, so we have everything to plug in. This is one half. Uh, probability of M equal to A is uh, three fourth and we divide it by C equal to one, which is three eight, which is one. It's not a surprise it is one because I, I explained earlier intuitively 
given the ciphertext equal to one, we know for sure the message has to be A and the probability one means you, there is no uncertainty whatsoever. Okay. And now what is the probability that message M equal to A in general, which is three fourth. Okay. That means these two probabilities are not equal, right? Which means that um, after seeing the ciphertext, the attacker immediately learned that the message has to be A in our case. Therefore, this cannot be perfect secret. One is not equal to three fourth. Therefore, this cannot be perfect secret. So we disproved that this scheme is a very poor scheme. Okay, that's basically it. Thank you very much for your attention.